At Star City near Moscow, ESA astronaut Luca Pamitano is subjected to forces of over 4G whilst trying to correct his trajectory. This is centrifuge training, where astronauts can rehearse for launch and re-entry inside a simulated Soyuz capsule. The aim of today's exercise is to keep the spacecraft under control during several different re-entry scenarios. As a former test pilot, this is exactly the kind of training that Luca enjoys. Personally, I find it challenging but fun at the same time. It's like a roller coaster where you are controlling the roller coaster yourself and it's also challenging because it's like uh, throwing a dart several miles away and trying to hit the spot in the center. And so uh, for a pilot, that's obviously something that, that I can enjoy. Launch day for his second mission is fast approaching and training is becoming more intense. Soyuz commander, Alexander Svortsov will pilot the spacecraft to the ISS and as flight engineer, Luca has to be ready to take the controls if needed. Before flying to the International Space Station, they both need to pass Soyuz qualification exams. The instructors can provide us with a very realistic environment to perform our actions during a nominal simulation or emergency situations. Both of us train in, in, in all the roles because the role of the pilot is in general to be the system expert, but I also have to be able to take over the commander should something happen. We always have to be able to come back safely. With safety the number one priority on board the International Space Station, many training sessions are geared towards what to do in the case of an emergency. Star City houses a replica of the Russian segment of the station in which the crew practice routine operations and learn how to react effectively should something go wrong. My crew and I will be performing daily activities, daily tasks, but then we will incur into one of three uh, emergency situations. Uh, it could be a, a depressurization case where something hits the space station and we start losing atmosphere. It could be a fire or it could be an alarm of toxic atmosphere where on the American side of the space station we have an infiltration of ammonia very, very dangerous gas, very poisonous, and we have to react very quickly to save ourselves and the space station. In addition to training at Star City, Luca Pamitano has spent time in Europe and the USA preparing for the upcoming mission. At the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, he's been trained to carry out scientific experiments which will have important implications for both future space flights and life on Earth. And at NASA's Johnson Space Center, he spent many hours in the neutral buoyancy pool, rehearsing for space flights to repair the alpha magnetic spectrometer. In the spirit of science and discovery, Luca's mission has been named Beyond and coincides with the 50th anniversary of the first moon landing. When NASA went to the moon 50 years ago, it was a giant leap. What we're doing with the space station, I think, is more paving a way, uh, building a bridge towards the future exploration, so that now we can do it with more knowledge, more understanding. Uh, we can do it in a safer way. We, we can do it in a way that's going to stay uh, longer uh, through our, our knowledge that we've acquired in the 20 years of uh, uh, exploration on the space station. For Luca Pamitano, another long-duration mission will be a chance to build upon the skills he's already learned in orbit, allowing ESA to advance its human spaceflight program and increase our understanding of the cosmos.